Um, this is a little bit more with some base 5 long division. So let me look at this. Base 5, 3, 0, 2, 1. Base 5 divided by 4. Base 5. Um, what I'm going to do, you can remember if um, you have your little multiplication table, we can do this. And I'm not going to, I'm going to stop writing the subscript fives. Right? And two times four we think is eight. One nickel, three pennies. Three times four is twelve. Two nickels, two pennies. Right? Sixteen, three nickels, one penny. Okay, so that's going to help us when we do this. I'll put the 5 over here. 3, 0, oh, 2, 1. Okay, so 4 doesn't go into 3, so 4 goes into 30. And I'm going to scan down until I'm between these two, or I hit it exactly, right? And I don't. So 3 times 4 is 2, 2. And then I subtract, right? So remember again, three nickels, no pennies, two nickels, two pennies. I need to rebundle one of these. And that's five pennies, so three. Bring the two down. Scanning, it's four, 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 three, one. Subtract, that's not too bad. Bring down the one. I scan, that's a one, one times four. One nickel, one penny, minus four pennies is the remainder of two. Okay. So that we have. Okay, now I'm gonna do a couple more examples with two digits. two-digit divisor in base 5, um, 3, 4, 0, 4, 3, 4, 0, 4, base 5, and I'm divided by 1, 4, base 5. I'm going to do the same thing here that we have before. So 1 times 1, 4, base 5 is 1, 4, right? 2 times 1, 4, base 5. Okay, so the way I'm going to think about this, we could do this whole thing out. I'm going to skip count again on this. Um, so I've got one nickel, four pennies, and I have one nickel, four pennies. Okay, so that's eight pennies, which is one nickel, three pennies, along with the other two, which would be three nickels, three pennies. All right? Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add one nickel, four pennies to this. So my pennies is three and four is seven pennies. That's two pennies and a nickel. So I have three nickels. I have another nickel and another nickel from the rebundling. It makes five nickels, which is one quarter. So all I've done is repeated addition here. 4 and 2 um, is, I'm thinking 6, so 1 nickel, 1 penny, um, oh, plus the 1, which would be 2, 1. All right, so 2 and 1, 4 makes 2 nickels, 1 penny, and then there was the quarter to start with here. Okay, and I'm done here. All right, now let's do... Three, four, zero, oh, four. Okay. Again, I'm going to scan. I hit two, makes three, three, and subtract. Bring down the zero. So fourteen doesn't or one four doesn't go to one zero, so that's just zero, and I bring down a one or four, and then. This has to be 3, 102, 
the remainder too. Okay. Um, let's do a quick little um, sanity check on these. Um, so I'm going to do four, four times three. Again, if you have your little table up, that might be helpful. Um, that should be a two, two. All right, that's 12, which is two nickels, two pennies. Four times two is eight, which is one nickel, three pennies. One, three, and three, three, oh, two. So I'm doing, I'm doing this sort of expanded out version of this, right? So this is 203 times 4, 203 times 1, 0. And then I'm going to add 2. That's 5, which is 0 pennies, 1 nickel. There's 4, there's 3. And then I'm going to add 2, 4034. Okay, so it checks out. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, and then I have one last one, which I'm not going to do with the table. Let's see if we can pull this off. This is a little tougher. Two, three, one, four. Div two, one. All base five. I said you could you can do this. I'm gonna to try to see if we can do this without. I've actually picked a fairly nice one. Okay, two one, two three, that goes once. And subtract. Uh, two one, two one, one. Zero. Bring down the four. Two one does not go into four, so zero. Remainder four. And then let's just let's just do this again. So one times one one zero. And then two O times one one zero. Okay. Okay, and don't forget to add the remainder to double check and we get what we started with. So that's right. Okay. Now this one was really pretty straightforward, um, but that actually two one isn't probably too hard. At least the first multiplying by one and multiplying by two are pretty um, straightforward. And if we needed more, then we could have maybe written them them down. So, all right. Well, that finishes off um, base five long division.